Why do so many movies end with the main character's true love dying when they could totally save them? No, seriously, anyone can do it. In these videos, we'll show you how to control the bleeding in situations where someone has been wounded so you don't end up in a Romeo and Juliet situation. Because let's be honest, that is so not couple goals. Listen to these steps and you'll realize that if you ever find yourself in a situation like this, you can help save a life easily. First things first, you want to ensure your own safety. Once you know you're safe, you'll want to follow the simple ABCs of bleeding. A, alert. Call 911 or have another uninjured person call 911. B, bleeding. You'll want to find the source of the bleeding. You may need to open or remove clothing to find it. C, compress. Cover the wound with clean cloth and apply pressure by pushing directly on it with both hands. Don't be afraid to use all your strength. Now it's time to find a bleeding control kit. They can be found in the AED cabinets around campus by using the AED locator in the BYU app. If the bleeding is coming from a leg or an arm, you'll want to use a tourniquet. If it is a shoulder or groin injury, something not close to any internal organs, you're going to need to pack that wound. Open any clothing covering the wound. Wipe away any pulled blood and pack the open wound as much as you can with gauze or any clean cloth. Once you've packed the wound, apply steady pressure with both hands and continue to add more cloth or gauze if the wound bleeds through. Make sure to push down as hard as you can and then just continue applying pressure until relieved by medical responders. Wasn't that easy? If you ever find yourself in this type of situation, stay calm and you'll be able to handle it smoothly. Make sure to watch our other videos on how to use a tourniquet and chest seal to be fully prepared to stop the bleed. You got this.